Hello, oceanographers. As always, I am One Ocean Ten, and this is San Andreas's finest. And we are back with Sam Savage. And you know what? Today is kind of a special day for her. Um, well, I wouldn't quite call it a date. I don't think they're calling it that. But S oh, geez, Sam, easy there. <laughs> Sam is going on a bit of a um. I don't know, uh, she's just getting together with Kaya, and I know you guys have been wanting her to get together with Kaya again, and uh, Sam decided to get a little bit dressed up, um, you know, she's still wearing her president jacket here for winter, but, uh, you know, she's wearing a nice little outfit, and I think that's because she's trying to impress Kaya, I mean, if it isn't apparent already, I think Sam has a little bit of a thing for Kaya, but we don't know yet if Kaya has a thing for her, so... You know, we're gonna see. And Sam's looking pretty spiffy, actually, I think. She's looking, she's checking her stuff out in the mirror, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, we don't know yet. So we're gonna wait and see. Um, Kaya's supposed to be coming here to the house. And uh, as you can see, she's actually getting prepared there in the chat. But when she does, uh, she's gonna come here and Sam's gonna drive her and they're gonna go hang out. Um, but yeah, this is Sam's apartment. I'm not sure if I showed you. I know I walked in here in one of the last videos, but I just wanted to give you guys a little showing of her apartment. And uh, it's really nice, got a really nice view out there of, um, you know, the uh, Vinewood Hills. Uh, the snow kind of takes away some of the graphics for some reason. That's why the trees look all kind of weird. But uh, it's really nice view. You can actually see all the real cars actually driving around down there and stuff. It's really cool. Um, and there's like this cool little, like, little, uh, like, pond thing with actual water underneath the stairs. And she's got one of these cool little cutout fire places. I love these things. Nice entertainment center an awesome kitchen and uh, dining area. I really wish there was a bar in here that Sam could you know, serve from because obviously being a bartender, why wouldn't you have your own bar in your own house? And she's got like some stuff in here that maybe people shouldn't actually see. Like there's some ammo boxes and stuff here and guns and whatnot. And uh, as you can see, she's got this, uh, you know, cool little setup here. Maybe she'll be a live streamer someday. <laughs> maybe she'll be like a YouTuber like me. <laughs> One could hope. Uh... So we just texted Kaya the address so that she knows how to get here to Sam's... Oh, there it is, and there's a return text. Uh, to get to Sam's address. And uh, once she's here, she has to buzz in because uh, this is an apartment complex with one of those little, like, you know, intercom buzzer things. And, uh, yeah. So just to quickly explain real quick about Kaya's character, Kaya is deaf. I know I've said this before, but it, it seems like people in the chat don't get it sometimes. But, um... Kaya is deaf. Now, what that means is, is that she cannot hear Sam, but she can read Sam's lips. Uh, and even though she is deaf, she also doesn't talk because she's not mute, but she can't talk because she was deaf from birth, which means she doesn't know how to form words like the rest of us do because she never got to hear the words in the first place in order to know how to do that. So that's kind of the, the major thing. Um, I know people kind of were like arguing with me in the comment section about how she's mute, not deaf, but that's not, that's not the case. She's not mute. She can actually, if she wanted to, she could scream or she could make sounds, but she's not going to know what she's doing with those sounds. And, um, you know, not, no one's going to understand her because they're not actually words. So that's that. Uh, let's see. Uh, begins making hot chocolate. Chocolates. <laughs> I say it how I write it. Uh, chocolates for the two of them and puts them in two go cups with lids. There we go. So we actually are in uh, our secondary server for SAF because we wanted to uh, have a little less uh, text chat um, going on with the other players. That way, um, you know, we could really see what we're typing and stuff and not have a whole lot of interference from other, um, you know, text that's going on. You know, not that I mind having other people's texts going on at the same time, but it just, I think for this particular episode, it was necessary to be able to see the text chat a little bit clearer. And that's because I'm also going to be reading uh, to you guys what's being uh, done because a lot of the role play with Kaya is uh, text chat because she doesn't talk. So you're going to get a lot of me um, narrating a lot of this. And also, just so you guys know, um, 
Campbell, who plays Kaya, is actually recording this as well. And I believe she's going to be premiering this video after this video releases. So go to her channel. I'll put the link below in the description. Go and uh, follow her on YouTube and on Twitch. And be sure to watch her perspective of this video because I believe there's going to be a lot of squeeing and awes and just her just flipping out at how cute this episode's going to be. I know I am. I'm trying to keep it as internalized as possible, but <laughs> but we both we just we just think this is going to be a really adorable night. So please go follow uh Yika, otherwise uh, otherwise known as Campbell or Dog Mom or Kaya in this case, and uh give her some love over there on her channels. And make sure you check out her live streams too when she does them. She's an amazing RPer and I think you guys will enjoy her f stuff. Oh, all right. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and press the buzzer over here. There we go. So that should allow Kaya to come inside, which we'll see her here in just a second. There she is. Oh, she looks adorable. Well, hi, hi, darling. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Tends both arms to give her a hug, if willing. Go. <laughs> I like that she waves, like how Kaya waves at people when they're right there in front of her, because that's her way of greeting, because she can't say hello. So I think it's cool that she does that. Aww. <laughs> Well, Dawn, uh, I'm, I'm glad you can make it. This here's my apartment. Um, I, I was actually making us some hot chocolates so that, uh, you know, we'll be a bit warm out there because uh, it is kind of cold. So if you, if you want to come in, I'm, I'm just finishing them up. Oh, I have not been reading the text chat. I'm sorry, guys. I, was I told you I was going to do that, and I'm not. Um, her eyebrow raises at the hot cocoa and grins across her face. Uh, excited for uh, hot chocolate. All right, come on in. I'm I'm trying to read it, but it's it, I'm not good at narrating text. I'm really bad at it because my brain goes faster than my mouth can. Yeah, I, I know it's a shock to a lot of you people, <laughs> but you know, um, I'm not good at narrating text. I, I stumble on it a lot and stuff like that. So. Here you go, Don. It's still real hot, so just be real careful, all right? But uh, yeah, this, here's my apartment. Uh, she sips in the cup that Sam gives her before glancing to her left at the large window pane. And she wants to go look at it. Oh yeah, Don, come on, go ahead. So she wants to look out the window, obviously, and see the view. Uh, I really wish the trees would render nicer than that. That just, oh man, that just looks... With the way the snow is, it's a snow mod, but just the trees look like so weird compared to the rest of the ground. I know it looks better in the daytime, but that's eh, fine. <laughs> and I realize Sam is wearing sunglasses at night, go figure. And it should be daytime soon, though. <laughs> Her face practically smashed up against the window looking out there. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. <laughs> You don't, and if you look right right up there, there's the observatory we're going to, right there. <laughs> yeah, I really like the view from up here. You can even see in the, vine, the Vinewood sign over there, and just oh, so much to see. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, if you want to come by in a time, you know, and, and, you know, see this view during the daytime or, you know, uh, different seasons, you know, you, you can come by in a time. I, I don't mind. Oh, 
Oop. <laughs> so Sam is blushing and she's pulling out her notepad, which hopefully means she's not going to look at Sam for a little bit and that <laughs> red in her cheeks can go away. <laughs> Oh, yeah, darling. Uh, yeah, like I said, any time, uh, that'd be amazing. You know, just let me know ahead of time, and I'll make sure, uh, you know, I uh, got some nice coffee or hot chocolate on the on the stove there, and, you know, make sure uh, I got the place all cleaned up and stuff, because sometimes I let it become a bit of a mess. Ah, shoot, we should probably get going, too. We don't want to miss the sunrise. Stuck in the couch. There we go. Oh, look at these two. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I just want them to be holding hands so badly. So badly. <laughs> oh, this could be adorable. So, yeah, as you guys know, like, this is, you know, this is kind of the direction that Sam's going in here a bit. Um, You know, you guys have kind of noticed Sam has a little bit of a thing for Kaya. And, um... You know, I think that's pretty obvious. Um, and I love all of the fan art that's been coming out regarding Sam and Kaya. And uh, so her her full name is Kaya Hopkins, and obviously we know Sam Savage. So Kaya, uh, you know, Hopkins and uh, Savage make up Savkins. That's the ship name that apparently you oceanographers decided to make. Well, I'm going to open the door for her. I'm going to be all, I'm going to be all sh chivalrous and open the door. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and get in this here van. Yeah, let's just get down here real quick and see this nice view. There you go, Don. Um, I it ain't exactly the the nicest of looking vehicles, but you know it gets me through the winter. <laughs> she like looks in the back seat like, shit, did I clean up this vehicle? <laughs> Kai gives a little glance, you know. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of windows and real high up. Uh, let me just here set the GPS real quick. Uh, up here we're going. Yes. Okay. So let's put that right there. All right. Let's go. And Sam's obviously gonna keep looking towards. Uh, Kaya, so that way Kaya can, uh, you know, see what she's saying. Oh, we still got the electrical box. That would have been bad. But that way, um, you know, she can see what, because she's reading lips, so she has to kind of turn in that direction a bit. And it's real slick out here still. This snow's been falling for days. Yeah, so she's she's reading Sam's lips right now, as you guys can see. I'll try to narrate more of what she's saying a little bit later because I can't do it while she, while I'm driving, unfortunately. What the hell? Does uh, your your little car does that do okay in the snow? I I think that's front wheel drive. Yeah. Getting a little bit slick out here with this van too. It's, I think we're making it though. So I'm kind of RPing it as being a bit tough getting up this hill, but this little van can do a lot. It's an off-road vehicle, so I think it'll be fine. Whoops! Sorry, there. I slid a little bit. It was a nice little road here. Got some nice lights and stuff. Important thing is watching these other here drivers. Some of them just don't know how to drive in the snow.
Like this guy behind us, for example, tailgating me. Now, what if I haven't had to stop? That wouldn't work. Ooh. I think we're getting up here just in time to watch the sunrise. Hey, Don, I think if we make a run for it, we can catch the sunrise. What do you think? Alright, let's go. Careful. <laughs> I don't think she actually heard... Uh, well, she didn't hear that. Definitely, She definitely didn't hear that. But I don't think she saw that either. <laughs> oh, I hope we make it for the sunrise. Oh, I hope we make it for the sunrise. That'd be so romantic. You know, not that Sam's trying to be romantic, but, you know, she's trying to be romantic. <laughs> I think they'll make it. Oh, yes. Oh, what the hell? For some reason I misstepped there. I think we just made it, darling. Oh, look at that sunrise coming up. Those trees are going to bother me the way they look. <laughs> oh, Pretty darn. Oh, you know, it's it's been a long time since I, I watched the sunrise. Like really stopped to watch one. And, you know, I'm, I'm I'm glad I have someone that you know could make me do that. If that makes any sense, you know. <laughs> Look at these two. That's how I thought about. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm freaking out a little bit because I just. Ah, uh, I totally shipped this. To totally shipped this. I know a lot of you guys do as, as well, but I totally shipped this. <laughs> Aww. So this scene right here is inspired by a piece of artwork created by Ash Green, who is on my Discord, and a very kind and awesome person. And it was one of the first pieces of artwork that came out for Savkins. <laughs> and let's just read the chat real quick. Uh, she hops up in the railing, uh, see the sun out in the distance, she leans back against it, feeling the warmth of the rays in the cold on her back she looks over to her left seeing the city down below and smiles just put down Sam Ash you created this amazing art piece that was featured in the beginning of this video and this right here is <laughs> we want to do a tribute to you and actually make this scene a reality in the game and that's what we did here as best as we could to your amazing art piece so thank you so much Ash for this amazing work Kai glances towards uh, upward, noticing Sam leaning over her. Her cheeks suddenly become warm. She gives just a quick, shy smile, looks towards the city again, feeling a bit confused. Uh -huh. Sam looks down at Kaya, noticing her movements and smiles at her until she looks up again. <laughs> this is 
so adorable. Oh, I've been loving this entire thing we've been doing with the two of them. So obviously uh, <clears throat> a little bit of uh, awkwardness going on here between the two of them. Uh, I think they're starting to feel something and not quite sure where to go with it. Kai moves around her weight a bit, pulling out a notepad and scribbling on it. Uh, though she writes rather slowly, trying to keep the paper out of view of Sam. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Oh, I got. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, look at that view with the sunrise over there. That's amazing. She writes, this scene is quite beautiful. She stares at a moment, wondering if that's what she wanted to write. Hands it to Sam, staring up, seeing upside down her view. Oh, <laughs> I was going to write something back, but that's not how this works. Yeah, darling, this is, is really something up here. I, I've never actually stopped to appreciate the beauty until just now. Now is Sam talking about the city or about Kaya? <laughs> hmm, I wonder. <laughs> she notices her lip moving but could not get a beautiful from it. She's uh, as she's just a bit upside down, though she understands giving another shy smile though the time looking straight up at her. This time looking straight up at her. <laughs> I wish I knew, darling. Be nice sometime to leave the city and go see some other places. It's been a while since I did that. Sam realizes her hand is still on Kaya's shoulder and removes it slowly. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Kai glances back at Sam as she removes her hand, having not realized it was there until the warmth had left her. Aww. She grins slightly and looks up at the sunrise once more, deciding that she should at least get back on her feet. She checks uh, her cheeks warm and red. <laughs> Holds out her hand, placing another behind her neck to brace her and offers her to help her up. Aww. I'm gonna be doing all a lot because it's just so adorable. Oh, yeah, I should probably move myself. Uh, whoops. Uh, <clears throat> didn't didn't cancel my own animation. There we go. <laughs> so, Kaya is rubbing the back of her head, kind of like nervously. Now Sam's awkward, doing the same accidentally. She gives what appears to be a silent and amused giggle, her arms swaying back and forth, uh, and head leaning back slightly, grin widening. Uh, Darling, how, how do you how do you feel about um, you know we go, we go back to uh, to my place and I, I can make you some breakfast since you know it's just 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 getting up to uh, time for that if if, if if you're hungry of course. Alright, let's um yeah, let's go on back to the van and uh we'll, uh, we'll head on down. Why are you bumping into me? Sara, Sara, jeez. You asshole. I'm glad she couldn't hear you. <laughs>
Sam don't see what happened here, but... You turned toward me and looked so weak I've never seen you with such tired eyes And everything we said we'd be We just traded for a suit coat and a tie you're right there, darling. Oh, what? Oh, oh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> oh, that's how it's going to be, huh? All right. I think I just nailed. Okay, wait. I, I think I'm homing in on this one. Wait. Oh, I, I think I got it right there. Okay, a little bit over to the side. Okay, breaking for breaking for cover, breaking cover. Oh, let's see if I can get around. Wait, I'm gonna figure out. Oh, and there she is. Out. <laughs> the tactical roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we two can play the tactical role game. <laughs> oh, got her! <laughs> where is she? Hit her. Just hit her one time. Just hit her one time. Yes! <laughs> oh, twice. Yes! <laughs> okay, Don. All right, Don. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, Don. I surrender. Y'all win. Y'all win. wide and tied back she glanced at Sam giving her an I win <laughs> a look of I win for being pulled into the hug she returns the hug feeling warm lips <clears throat> Don, I, I haven't felt like that in a long time I felt like a kid again I, I haven't had a snowball fight in uh, I don't know how many years What do you say we go on back now and uh, I'll make you out there breakfast? She lets go of Kaya, but a f expression of, of a flash of regret passes on her face real quick as she does so. Like, <laughs> she didn't want that hug to stop. <clears throat> Fortunately, there's no cars coming. That's nice.
And of course, we're going to get the door for her again. <laughs> oh, she left the door open. All right, well, that's fine, too. <laughs> she writes, this is really fun. I'm glad we were able to finally come up here and I'm happy to have you as a friend. She doesn't write much more, though she feels like she could write an entire book. Slowly she hands Sam, looking shyly. <clears throat> I couldn't agree more, darling. I'm, I'm real happy we could do this today and, well, it ain't over yet because uh, I might be a good bartender, but I, I'm pretty good at making breakfast too. I'm just going to take these hills real slow because uh, I ain't looking to be sliding nowhere. And we're on that home sweet home. Let's go get warm. <clears throat> All right, darling. Um, you know, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm just gonna really quickly run upstairs and just take off my coat and, you know, get into something more comfortable. If that's all right. Um, if that's all right with you. Feel free to help yourself to some uh, coffee here. I, I don't know if you drink coffee, but um, I got a pot going right here before we left, so it's all yours. <clears throat> yeah, just gonna have to stand, go upstairs real quick and just change into something else because obviously wearing her jacket inside and sunglasses is kind of weird, so. Okay, Sam looks a little more uh, <laughs> casual now. You just can't get enough of this here view, can you, darling? <clears throat> you know, I hear um, in July um, they, they launch fireworks from over there at the Vinewood Hills sign. So, you know... So, you know, maybe in July when they, when they do that, you know, if you want to come by that night and, you know, watch the fire, fireworks with me, uh, you know, we, we I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> She's so stammering over her words. It's that, oh, God, it's adorable. To see Sam in such a vulnerable place, because Sam's a badass. She's such a strong, you know, badass person. And for her to just kind of be like this with somebody and vulnerable is kind of just an interesting thing for her. Uh, that's great. Yeah, I I, I love that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll I'll make sure I cook and everything like that. And uh, I, mean, I, I I don't I got some wine. I don't know if you like wine, but I, I got like a pretty good amount of wine. And you know, um, if if you like wine, I I'd, I'd share my wine with you. <laughs> I enjoy white wine. Oh. <laughs> she nods again. 
She nods again, pulling up his paper and putting it. She likes his white wine. She goes, writing, scribbling rather badly, in fact. Excellent. I, I got a great collection of white wines from the Thumb Lakes. And let me tell you, uh, they are amazing. If it, if it wasn't so early in the morning, I would share some with you right now. But uh, maybe, maybe we'll save that for uh, another time. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's go get this here breakfast ready. Let's do that. I just realized Sam doesn't have a refrigerator. Um, <laughs> I'll pretend this is one of those hidden fridges. Uh, darling, uh, I guess my only question for you is, um, how do you like your eggs done? She brings out her notepad and writes down her order, <laughs> feeling rather amused at the situation. Sunny side up, as sunny as that sunrise was. Oh, she slides it over, her eyes closed, and smiles the biggest it's been yet. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you all on the next one. You turn toward me. And look so weak I've never seen you with such tired eyes And everything we said we'd be We just traded for a suit coat and a tie From underneath the rows of trees I will see you where the ocean meets the sky your toes, fire grows. You are ready for a different kind of life. You're silent for the wind is cold. You must return to the wild. You're silent for the wind is cold. You must return to the wild. Take your socks and shoes right off That natural light Is so damn polite Can make you feel just like you were young Again Standing underneath The rows of trees Under our clothes, a fire grows. We are ready for this life of running wild. We're running wild. Underneath the rows of trees, I will see you where the ocean meets.